the director of the CIA warned that he's worried Putin might use a tactical nuclear weapon in this fight. Are you worried? And not only me. I think we, all, all, all of the world, all the countries have to be worried because uh, you, you know that it can be not real information, but it, but it can be the truth. True, because when they began to speak about uh, one or another battles or uh, involves uh, enemies or nuclear weapons or chemi some chemical, you know, issues, chemical weapons, they should do it. They could do it. I mean, so they they can. For for them, life of the people is nothing. For them, life of the people is nothing. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned this weekend that Vladimir Putin's tactics could get even more extreme. On Monday morning, Russian missile strikes killed at least seven people and injured at least 11 in the western city of Lviv. Lviv had been relatively unscathed up to this point. In fact, it had become a haven for those escaping the more heavily targeted cities to the east. The mayor of Lviv told reporters on Monday that there are now no safe locations in the country. Moscow is also preparing to launch a major offensive in the eastern region of Donbass, where Russian-backed separatist fighters have held territory for the past eight years. Russia's latest push would create a link between the Donbass and Crimea, another region it seized illegally back in 2014. So Russia's scorched earth policy continues with no end in sight. And now we must add in the possible and horrific threat of tactical nuclear weapons, too. NBC News correspondent Ali Arouzi joins me from Lviv. Uh, Ali, I hope you're safe and well. What are we learning about this Monday's strike on Lviv and on the direction of the war more broadly? Uh, that, that's right, Matthew. Look, Lviv had been a sanctuary, a safe haven for pretty much all of this war, even though the outskirts of the city had been hit. You know, strategic locations like a fuel depot, uh, an aircraft repair facility. But this hit the city center smack in the middle. We were very close to the attack when it happened. We were doing an interview with uh, Malcolm Nance, and, you know, we saw the cruise missile fly over our head. And, you know, the thing was so big. At first, I thought it was a plane, uh, and then you heard this massive thump uh, in the city center. It was followed by several other cruise missiles. Uh, and this is the first time the Russians have hit the city center. This is the first time anybody has been killed in uh, Lviv. Seven people were killed. Uh, amongst the injured was a three-year-old child who very tragically had escaped from the relentless bombing in Kharkiv only to be injured by a missile strike oh. here in Lviv. And just to put it in perspective for you, this was a very built up area, Matty. It was uh, full of apartment buildings, houses, uh, you know, a couple of clicks either way, either way. That could have taken out an entire apartment building, you know, and they, they hit one military facility, uh, but they also hit a garage, an auto repair shop. And this wasn't done at four in the morning when nobody was going to have their car fixed. This was done at 8.30 in the morning when people are going about their daily routine. So clearly, uh, the, the timing of the attack was no coincidence. They wanted to terrorize the civilian population here, who so many of them have uh, uh, escaped the east of the country where their homes have been destroyed, their families have been torn apart, and they wanted to send the message that you're not safe in Lviv. And that that sense of safety here has been very much shattered. I mean, you know, it was disconcerting before that they hit the outskirts, but this has really rocked the people here in Lviv. It isn't really a sanctuary for anybody anymore. It, it's not a refuge. And people are asking, when is the next hit going to happen? Not if it's going to happen. Happen. That is truly startling to hear. Ali Aruzi, thank you for your reporting. Please do stay safe in Lviv.